Kathy by Design. Today I'm working with Little Birdie Crafts and as promised I have a tutorial for this double gatefold um, card folio for you made with their Aqua Medley collection. This measures six by six and it's loaded with little interesting features. I'll just show you very quickly what I used. The Aqua Medley collection, I believe they still have it in stock. It's all these wonderful uh, shades of teal. And you can see in here I've got lots of little cut apart pieces, but I just wanna show you one of my favorite things about these 12 by 12 packs are the punch out doilies. They literally just fall out of the paper. This is all 110 pound paper. So it's super sturdy and really gorgeous to work with. It cuts like butter, it folds like a dream. So I used the 12 by 12. I also used the six by six. And you can just see how sweet these patterns are. They're just beautiful. Everything from distressed backgrounds to textiles, paisley, which is one of my absolute favorites, these sort of um, distressed florals. They're single-sided papers, which means you don't have to make the hard decision about which side to use. This distressed dots, these gorgeous butterflies, and then there are cut apart images that are just wonderful. So that's the 12 by 12, I mean the six by six. It's just easier to show than the 12 by 12. I also used their journal cards, which are four by six. You get 24 in a package to each of 12 designs, and these are really lovely. And because they're so heavy, you can use the back as a photo mount, which is really nice. I used the Aqua Medley die cuts, which are glittered, and you get a ton in this little bag, like it's unbelievable. And then primed chipboard. Um, this was the ornate rectangle frame. And then I also used metallic, antique silver metallic wax. And then they have a die cut machine, who knew? So I got one, I'm in love. It rolls everything through almost effortlessly. It's a manual die cutting machine, up to six inch wide platform. And they also have dies. So I used these oval, let me give you the right name, Thin Cut Oval Tags Die. Love, love. So that's what I used. Also, uh, for flowers, I used the Fairy Sparkle Aqua Medley Flowers. So here on the cover, we've just layered up designer papers, some embellishments from my stash, these gorgeous Aqua Medley Flowers, some um, die cut butterflies, some fussy cut butterflies, and the hydrangea image cut from one of the journal cards. I took the ornate frame and treated it with metallic antique silver wax just to give it a really beautiful pewter finish. So here you can see, here's the back, and then I spattered this whole thing with paint. I added a little um, diamond stickles to the center of the hydrangea flowers just to give them a little sparkle and pop. So it's ribbon wrapped and you'll learn how to do all of this in the tutorial. And then it opens like this. It has this wonderful gatefold. And then over here, we're gonna create this sweet little tag pocket. This is where I used those oval tag dies, and I teach you a really cool sneaky trick um, that I think you're gonna really like. And then over here, this is a little turn tab, opens out like this portraits on either side of our center pocket, which has a pull-out page with room for lots of photos. This is one of those die-cut doilies, just love it. This is actually from the product packaging, but it was so pretty I decided to use it. This is the sample strip of all the papers in the collection. So you will learn how to build this card base with this cool little hidden pocket. And then in the pocket, I've put a tea bag and a honey stick. It's summertime here in North Carolina, so it's cold brewed tea. And then I cut down one of the little journal cards of these sweet blue birds. So there's room on the back to write a message or mount a photo. And this all, oops, lives in this pocket. Let me just tuck this in there. And then the pocket flap holds the insert in place so it doesn't go flapping around in the breeze. 
Then this flips over like this and I created a little hidden pocket for this super sweet bookmark. And I'll tell you how to make that in the tutorial. So that's the project we're making today with Little Birdie Crafts. I hope you'll follow along. This is, makes a great birthday gift or anniversary gift. Um, you can tuck in gift cards, little treats. Usually I put chocolate in, but it's too hot to be mailing chocolate. Um, so I didn't put chocolate in, I put tea and honey stick instead. So the tutorial comes up next, hang around. The very first thing we want to do to build this double gatefold card is create our card base. And to do this, you need a 12 by 12 sheet of white card stock. And this is probably about 85 pound, not too heavy. You're going to place one panel on your craft, on your scoring tool, and you're going to score it at three, and then score it again at six. Fold it in half. Burnish it on the score line, and then fold back like this. You're going to do the exact same thing. Score it at six. This time I'm going to score it at nine. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold this flap back and burnish along the score line. Now we have two Z-fold cards, and what we're going to do is adhere the one inside the other, just like that. So take a little bit of your favorite adhesive, whatever you like to work with, and I just want to add my adhesive along the sides and the bottom. I'm not going to place adhesive along the top because I want this to be a pocket that we can tuck a little tag or a little folio in. Kind of like a little secret hidden spot. So just line these up, tuck the one into the other, open it, burnish it down here, and you can see now we have this wonderful six by six double gatefold card and we have a hidden pocket in the center. How fun is that? And not hard to do at all. The next step is we're going to line the inside of our card. And for this, you're going to need five and seven eighth by five and seven eighth panel of this burlap texture. So we're just going to adhere these to the page and we're just gonna line it up. The main thing is to keep it even at the top and the bottom and not to go over those side folds. Then I have this beautiful floral pattern. These are cut to two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. This way they clear the fold. Same thing with this um, monochromatic floral print. And of course you can mix and match the prints um, and even use a different collection if you would like to. These outer flaps are actually three by six because these are going to become the cover of the card once we flip this. So the inner section is two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, and then this outer is three by six. And I'm not inking any of these edges. I love the way this cardstock looks just as it comes out of the package. It's got such beautiful texture. So you see, these are going to fold in like this. Now flip our card over, and we're gonna do the same thing on the back side only this time we're using the butterflies and the paisley. So 
So now you can see this is the back side of our card. This is the front side of our little card folio. Now we're going to add a pocket to this center panel. And for that, I've cut a seven inch by three inch piece of this butterfly pattern. Bring in your scoring tool. Score a half inch on one side, on the bottom and on both sides. Now we're just going to trim out these corners. We're going to cut along that first scored line and then angle out from the horizontal scored line. Just like that. And this just makes those pockets close very neat and tidy. Now I'm going to bring in my little birdie dream cut die cutting machine and these thin cut dies also from little birdie. And I just received this wonderful die cutting machine in the mail and I am absolutely in love with it. It cuts the most beautiful, it just cuts like butter. So I want to cut a thumb hole for my pocket. I'm going to show you how I do this. I fold my sides in. You can measure this. I just kind of eyeball it. And I don't want to cut the tag opening here. I just want this to be an oval pocket. So when I've found the middle, and you can use a ruler to do this if you like, and it looks straight, I'm going to use a little piece of tape to hold that in place. I'm going to lay this. This is my cutting plate. This is plate C. Then I put my die with my paper on top of it here, and then plate B. And this machine rolls easier than any machine I've ever used. And this is um, very heavy cardstock, and look how it cut, just no effort at all. So I'm pretty much in love with this little machine. It's my new buddy in my craft room. So let me just move this out of the way. We'll be using this again in a minute. But you want to cut that pocket before you glue your sides. I just wanted to show you how to do that fun shaped pocket. It just adds a really lovely design feature to anything that you're doing. So burnish that bottom fold down really well. Place a little adhesive in the corner, fold your flap over, and just seal and burnish. And repeat that on the other side, just like that. Adding a pocket to a card gives you the opportunity to turn it into a gift. So all the work and effort that you put into creating a beautiful card like this, it, it lasts and lasts and lasts because uh, people can store photos in here. They can do all kinds of wonderful things. Now we're just gonna put our adhesive along these folded flaps. We're gonna line it up just like this. Look how beautiful this paper is. Oh, I love these colors, so good for summertime. And then just burnish this down. And there's our pocket on the inside of the card. And sometimes you have to burnish just again to um, make sure everything is happy. All right, so burnish along these folds again just to encourage it. Now we're ready to work on the cover of this card and I've cut a five and a half by five, five and a half square of this paisley and matted it on just a very thin mat of white paper. And this is going to go, this is going to be centered on the front, but the tricky part is this. I only want to glue down part of the right hand side. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to make a tiny pencil mark for myself at the top and the bottom. 
And now I'm going to place my adhesive just on the top, the side, and the bottom of this piece. Then I'm going to close my card. I'm going to center this up. and glue it down. The reason you don't want to glue over here is that if you do, you've just closed your gate permanently. So now what we have when this opens, this is another pocket inside the folio, which is amazing. So we're gonna cover this with a designer paper, but we won't get ahead of ourselves because now it's time to just wrap this with ribbon. So this is a turquoise glitz ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I've cut probably almost a yard. I, I would rather cut more ribbon than not enough ribbon. And we're going to adhere this with score tape. And I have half inch score tape. You want to run this from the center, find the center of this five and a half inch panel. and come so go around the edge and to the back i'm going to take my liner tape off i'm going to find the center of my ribbon place it on my spine and then just wrap around like this I have to line it up with the tape So this will be our ribbon closure. But as you can see, you can still open the card. You just won't be able to open this left-hand side. So when you're covering the back of your card, just don't cover those two panels on the left and you'll be fine. But it still opens out like this and we've got this cool pocket. So we want to cut a piece that's going to fit in this pocket to line this blank paper here. So this is five and a half and so if we go five and a half by two and three quarters, that should be pretty much perfect. And I think I want to use this paisley. So I'm just going to cut this to two and three quarters. And then adhere that down. So now we have a really fun surprise pocket here. And this double gatefold design, you can play with it and take it a lot of different ways. You can make it different sizes. Um, I like six by six for this particular presentation, but feel free to play with it and make it yours. Add pockets where you want them, don't where you don't want them. So this is going to close like this, see? And then our ribbon, we're not gonna do the rest of the, well, yeah, we can go ahead with the next step on the front. The next step for the front is you want to bring in some Little Birdie primed chipboard. This is a frame. And I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to alter this with the metallic wax. This is made with beeswax. This one is called Silver Glitz. And as you rub your finger over the surface, the heat from your hand actually melts the wax and then you can just apply it you get really good coverage and it's got a wonderful vintage finish so it adds just a little bit of shine of course you can use this primed chipboard exactly as it comes out of the package that's not a problem but you can see you get variations in the color and in the finish, just by how heavily or lightly you put your finger down. But I love how it looks like this aged pewter and um, silver and turquoise together are just heavenly. And this is so quick and it dries immediately. It's not, you're not going to pick it up with your hand or your fingers. It's automatically dry. So beautiful, I love this stuff. And you could put another layer on if you want, but I 
kind of like this antique finish. So then just come in, you can use a wet paper towel or a baby wipe, look, it cleans off your hands very easily. The lid, it doesn't dry out. Um, it's just a really neat product. I really love it and I've been using it quite a lot. So let me just clean up my craft sheet and I'll be right back. Now we're going to add our next layered panel to our card. And this is four and a quarter by five of the burlap texture. And I've just matted this on white and placed a, um, some waste chipboard on the back just to raise it up. It's really nice to add different levels um, to your cards. I think it makes them look really interesting. So we're gonna center this up with that beautiful paisley. Just like this. And now we're going to take our frame, put adhesive on the back. And just glue this down in the center. And look how that silver and turquoise, they play together so nicely. Then from the journal cards, I took the hydrangea card and just fussy cut the blossom from the background. And we want to adhere this right in the center of our frame. And I've added a triple layer of chipboard, waste chipboard to the back here. And I want this sort of at an angle. And that's all we're gonna to do to the front of the card for now, because I don't wanna layer up a bunch of bulky embellishments here because it makes it too hard to finish the inside. Let's get to work on decorating these inside pockets and such. We're gonna start over here on the left with our little tag pocket. And using my dream cut and the six by six paper, I cut out a couple of little oval stitched tags. I just love these, they are so sweet. And I'm gonna show you one of my sneaky tricks here. I cut out two more from dark designer paper and I cut them in half like this because I want these to um, pop a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just place some adhesive just a little bit down there to help me get it set in the right place. And do you see how I'm just offsetting that? And honestly, you don't even notice that the dies, that the ovals have been cut in half. It's just a really sneaky little die cutting trick because rather than gluing this down onto a mat and then having to um, cut around it with scissors, you let your die cutting machine do the work. So now if die cut one to go on the back, it's just gonna cover up that ugly seam. But now you've got this really beautiful little tag and these are fun to add small photos or use a gel pen and add journaling. Any of those ideas is good. So I've got that lined up on the back. And then I also, the, the um, stitched oval tag comes with these little reinforcer. So look at that, you just put that there. Put this one on the back. And you're gonna do the same thing with that other tag. And then I took a little silver charm and ran some silver string through it. I'm gonna put the loop through our hole, pull it through with the charm like this, and then pull the legs through the loop a square knot so that it will hold. Look how sweet that is. It's precious. And then I just like to tie a bow at the top. If my fingers will cooperate. There we go. Just like that. So sweet. Trim the tails and hold on to this silver thread for another 
application. Then to decorate it, I took from the die cut these sweet little birds on branches, and we're just going to glue these down on the front. Darling. And then a little butterfly here. Normally I would um, bend these wings up, but because I want it to fit in the pocket, I'm not going to do that. And then I had, I thought I had another wee butterfly, but anyway, this, these tags will fit right in this pocket like that. So you're gonna do the same thing with this tag with the cut apart thing and the reinforcers, and then another little bird and another little butterfly. And that takes care of the tags. Now for these two side panels from the three by four cut apart page, I selected these forget me not images. We're just going to glue these down. I trimmed them down so that they fit the panel just by cutting away the border a little bit. And we're just gonna center these in each panel, just like uh, photos hanging on a wall in a beautiful room. And then this one goes over here. This is such a pretty collection. And I grabbed some of the little butterflies, the little glitter butterflies from the journal cards and I'm going to put, I mean from the die cuts, I'm going to put one here and one here and I'm going to do the opposite over here, put the darker one at the bottom and the lighter one at the top. So pretty. And then in the center I took one of the journal cards and I trimmed it down. I trimmed away some of the borders so it's about three and five eighths by about five and five eighths. And this way it fits nicely in the pocket. And on the back, you can journal, you can add a photo. Um, so that really personalizes it. Okay, we're moving right along here. I took one of these beautiful um, die cuts with a touch of glitter just to make a fancy turn tab here. And then in the center pocket, here's what you're going to do. Um, I love to do this. It's such a fun thing. This is actually from the packaging of the paper collection. They show a strip with all the patterns and it makes a beautiful design piece. So I cut this off. It is four and a half inches wide by 11 inches long. Then I scored it in half at five and a half to make this little pocket insert. So you can put two photos here and a photo on the back. And this is going to go into our sneaky little hidden pocket between the layers. And then the flap just tucks down into our pocket and voila, we're done. So I added in here um, a little tea bag and a honey stick. So now we have a gift. And then let's flip this over. We've got these last two panels to decorate. Uh, we already put our paper on. I just added some glitter corners and a little hydrangea. This is a tuck spot, so it's a great place to put a gift card or a little token. And then over here, we're going to create a bookmark. So to hold our bookmark in place, I have this little side pocket. This is one of the punch out doilies that I cut in half. I folded a thin strip of designer paper in half to make a little gusset. And we're just going to glue this down on the side like this all the way over to the edge. And then for our bookmark, I again went to the six by six pad and I chose this beautiful floral pattern, backed it with the dark blue and then stitched it together on my sewing machine. Then I put another piece on the back of that. I am gonna just ink the edges of this very lightly because we've got a little bit of white core showing through from the other side and I wanna cover that up. And then this is just a little piece of that same glitz ribbon. We're going to run this through the center like this. Move this out of the way. And then I have a charm from my stash. This says, I love you to the moon and back. This is also going to go through this pocket, uh, through this hole punched at the top. 
And then we're going to pull the legs through to hold our charm in place and pull like that. Then I'm just going to wrap these legs around a couple of times this way and a couple of times this way. Oops. Flip my charm over so that it goes the way it's supposed to. Tie a square knot. You can't put anything super bulky into this middle layer. So I'm just doing a very simple ribbon treatment. And then I'm tying a little bow. And then we can decorate this with some of these cute bird die cuts. This is going to tuck right into that pocket like that. Super cute. And then this folds over like this and now we're back here at the front. Now we can tie our uh, ribbon to hold everything closed because we're ready to decorate the front. I have Fairy Sparkle Aqua Medley flowers. And I want to, I love these because look, they're already clustered for you. You don't have to do any arranging. You don't have to do any fussing. They're just ready to go. And they've even got the little um, stickies on the back. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more glue in a couple of places. And then one of these is going to go right here on the side. The only thing you have to be careful of, you can glue onto this paisley, but don't glue onto this gate at the back because if you do, you can't open your, your gate, which is tragic at this point, frankly. And then I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to put it up here at the top. So beautiful, so simple, and so easy. Just like this right here so that our hydrangea shows. There we go. Beautiful. I went through my embellishments and I found these sweet little um, pearl kind of metallic buttons and they were brass so I used that same metallic wax to alter the metal. How great is that? So now they're silver, which is what I want. And I'm just going to glue these up the side. And then for the last step, I'm going to take a couple of these beautiful glittery butterflies. I want to put foam adhesive on the back. Right here. I've just lifted the wings a little bit. And I want to put one right here like it's flying into the frame. And then I want to take a smaller one and do the same thing to create this dimensional butterfly on the cover. Just like that. Use my scissors to kind of press that down in. Once that glue, hot glue sets, we'll be in good shape. And then I found this little blue gem. I think I just want to add this in the frame right here. And then I always like to have more than one butterfly. So I'm going to do the same thing up here glue it to my frame. 
This time I did not use glitter. These were ones that I just fussy cut from the paper collection. And this one goes this way. Just one last step and then we're finished. Oh, here on my craft sheet, right down here, I've created a puddle of diluted white acrylic paint. And I thin this out pretty well. And then I've just got a paintbrush with a pretty pointed tip. And I'm just gonna tap this, I'm gonna tap a little bit off because it's a little heavy. And I'm just gonna spatter this all over my card front. I just love the way this transforms. It adds a real nice painterly touch. If painterly is a word, I just made it up. Yeah, some up here on the leaves. And then if you have some that are uh, too blobby for your liking, just come in with a little piece of toweling and pick that up and you'll be fine. I love it. Um, the other thing I like to do, just to add that finished touch, is I take this same paint and I just pick some up with a broad brush, tap most of it off, and then come along the edges. And I just love the way this finishes off a card. It sort of frames everything, the little imperfections in the lines, I, I love that, the little brush strokes. And you can see I'm not picking up a whole lot of paint, just a little. And then I'm brushing, tapping most of it off on my craft sheet. But I'm just going around the edges to give it this shabby chic edge, which I personally love. Now, if you don't care for this, don't do it. That's the beauty of the system. Oops, got some of my ribbon, but that doesn't even really bother me. Beautiful. I'm going to tap off even more, and I'm going to brush some of these. Just tap it over these petals and leaves just to create some shading. And now it's done. So there you go. There's how to create a double gate fold card folio that doubles as a gift. Not hard. Super beautiful. But that's me, Kathy by Design, Kathy Clement. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so other crafters can find it. If you haven't subscribed to my blog yet, I would love to have you along for the journey so that I can share more ideas with you as time goes on. And thanks a million to Little Birdie Crafts for the Dream Cut Machine. It really is a dream. Well named. All right, guys, I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye.